Welcome to TGC Reviews, the book review site of the Gospel Coalition. My name is John Stark. I am with Michael Lawrence, the senior pastor of Henson Baptist Church in Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. This is the new author of Biblical Theology in the Life of the Church, and Crossway Books. The book itself, Biblical Theology in the Life of the Church, is it a, a, a book about theology, preaching, Christian ministry? What, Yes. What exactly is that? Okay. The answer is yes. The subtitle is A Guide for Ministry. Okay. And the book is designed actually to be a book that will help pastors both do biblical theology, read the, their Bibles uh, as, as a single grand story of what God is doing and has done in the work of redemption, but then take that and apply it practically in ministry, in the life of the church. Good. Now you spend a lot of time dealing with biblical interpretation yeah and you commend a method of biblical interpretation do you want to just talk that's right about so what that is? so what I, what I try to do in the beginning of the book is is give pastors the tools that they need uh, to understand the Bible and we start by looking at the tools of exegesis and an interpretive method that that's known generally as the grammatical historical method uh, really paying attention to to words to grammar to context uh, understanding what is the author's original intent in any particular passage. But then I want to go on and say in the rest of the book uh, that that's actually not enough. Doing good exegesis is important. It's where you start. But if you exegete uh, a particular passage correctly but then fail to connect it up with the rest of the Bible, you've actually failed to understand the point of the text. Yeah. And that's where the biblical theology comes in. Now when you say biblical theology, mm -hmm. People all across the spectrum in theological circles have all kinds of sure. thoughts about that. How would you define biblical theology and, and possibly how could you differentiate it from systematic right. theology? Uh, what I mean by biblical theology is a theology that's seeking to understand any particular text in light of uh, the story as a whole. Uh, the whole Bible, 66 books, bunch of different authors, but also one author and one book that is telling one story, not a fictional story, but a narrative of God's actions in history to redeem a people for himself. And so when I talk about biblical theology, I mean a theology that helps put together that whole story and relate the different parts to one another uh, within the Old Testament and then across the divide relating the Old Testament to the New Testament and how those two really talk to each other and one is fulfilled by the other. Uh, now how does that relate to systematic theology? I, I like the way Don Carson talks about it uh, in his really excellent article, in fact I cited it in my book, uh, in the Dictionary of Biblical Theology. He talks about uh, biblical theology being a mediating discipline, something that's, that's helping us put the story together. Systematic theology uh, being a discipline that, that it, that's terminal, it's, it's landing the truths actually in our specific context, applying the truths of Scripture to today. Uh, so uh, when I think about the relationship between biblical and systematic theology, uh, biblical theology is telling me that the grand story of what God's doing, systematic theology is helping to connect that story to my life individually, and frankly, to the life of the local church that I serve in. Maybe you can tell us a little bit on how systematics, what does it stand to lose if you neglect biblical theology? Well, per perhaps many things, but one of the things that comes to mind immediately uh, is that uh, systematic theology, if done in isolation from biblical theology, can so quickly begin to be uh, pushed and governed, the conversation that it's having, uh, solely by, by the terms of the conversation that are popular today. Whatever's going on currently becomes sort of the dominant conversation partner for systematic theology. Biblical theology reminds us actually that the conversation began with God and it's, it's his story, a story that encompasses our story, uh, that really should, should be setting the terms of the, of the conversation. So I think biblical theology keeps systematic theology grounded uh, in a, a framework uh, that originates with God's plan rather than contemporary concerns. 
But this is a, a book for the church, so we want to yeah. bring it down. How, what does biblical theology have to do with the church ministry? Sure. I, I think it has uh, everything to do with local church ministry. Uh, one of the, I think, more insightful comments that I heard when I was going through seminary uh, was, was the observation that a lot of times we think of uh, the Bible as a, a book from uh, some ancient time, some past time, that we've got to figure out now how to relate to our current time. And yet, if the Bible really is a story that begins at the beginning and ends at the end, then our time is actually inside of the timeline of Scripture. Uh, which makes the, the storyline of Scripture amazingly contemporary and relevant. Um, so all, all sorts of, of examples I could think of. Uh, one that comes to mind, I actually use this in the book. The, the temptation is often, uh, I think, to, to come to the Bible as kind of an answer book. I've got a problem. I need to find a text that, that answers the problem that I have. Um, so one, one of my elders uh, in, in the church where I serve, I was meeting with a fellow who had lost his job. And yet he was going back and he was reading texts in the Old Testament that promised prosperity. If I believe God, surely, uh, surely I just need to have faith. And uh, God, God will, will bless me. And a new job will show up soon and lots of money. Well, how do, you, how do you answer that question? Biblical theology helped him answer that question because it helped him understand that the promises that God was making about physical prosperity to Israel in that particular context found their fulfillment not in immediate financial prosperity for him, but actually in something much, much greater, a spiritual prosperity in Christ, as the physical was but a shadow of the reality that was to come, the, the spiritual in Jesus. Um, so uh, understanding biblical theology helped him, helped this, this man who was struggling, read his Old Testament better, more faithfully, to not be deceived by false promises. It helped him understand actually what, what he'd been given in Christ and how to work through then the very real problem of unemployment as a New Testament Christian. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I wish you the best for the book. I'm thankful for it. Um, this has been... TGC Reviews, the book review site for the Gospel Coalition. My name is John Stark, and this is Michael Lawrence, the new author of the new book, Biblical Theology in the Life of the Church with Crossway Books. Thank you.